Hello and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast where we talk about the rise of Nintendo and what this great gaming franchise has in store for us in the future of gaming and of course the country from which it was born, Japan. I am your host Judah Terry... I'm not your host Judah Terry. (laughs) I'm your co-host Rowan Fern and it's just me again. Guys, I'm so, so, so sorry about this. Basically, Judah, it's his birthday coming up, right? Um, and I don't know if this is because of that. However, oh, I've got my nice uh, Fanta Fruit Twist here. Got from the co-op earlier. However, um, basically he was going to, you know, he wasn't... Um, I, got a, I got a text from him, basically, on Thursday. And he was like, oh, are you free to record the podcast today? Or he said he sent it to me on Wednesday. He was like, "Are you free to record the podcast tomorrow, or Thursday?" And I was like, "No, my day is completely packed tomorrow, so I can't." I'm afraid. And he was like, "Well, you're gonna have to do a solo episode then." And I was like, mm, "Why? Why? Why is this happening?" So he basically told me that his mates had come in last minute and said, "Oh, mate, do you want to hang out?" Um, so that, so yeah, so he's off with his mates doing you know on an adventure uh, while I'm recording. Um, But I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. But I know you guys do. Because I know that these solo episodes are getting tedious. Tedious as fuck. But I promise it will all be back to normal. The podcast is at a very weird stage right now. Um, I tried to get Elijah as well, guys. I did try. Um, I messaged him and said, Are you working tomorrow? Are you free to record with me? Because Judas can't record. And he was like, Oh, I'm away. So... Elijah's away as well, so I I tried to get Elijah just to make it better, but everyone's off. Judah's off, Elijah's off, me isn't off, so it's my job to (laughs) record an episode. So I'm really, really sorry about this again, guys, there's another solo episode. I don't, I honestly, I know how tedious this is getting, but it'll be back to normal. Like I said, the podcast is at a very weird stage right now where it's like one week there's a solo episode, next week there's a normal episode, the week after that there's a bloody alien recording our episode. It, it's all over the place, right? So, with that being said, um, we might as well get into it. Um, the weather is is really, really good today in the UK. Now, I, I know a lot of you uh, people listening from uh, around the world are like, no way, the UK having nice weather, it can't be. It can Funnily enough, it can be. And um, the sun is out today, blazing. Uh, well, not blazing, but it's out. And that's something for us Brits. The sun is out, everyone goes... Yeah, can I talk about that? When the sun comes out in this country, everyone seizes the opportunity and rushes to like all the, the beaches. Uh, Skegness, mainly. Now, Skegness... <laughs> everyone buggers off to Skegness when, when the sun comes out. Um, now, if you if people already live near a beach, like if you live in like down south, Bournemouth, Brixham, uh, you know Torquay, all that sort of area, if you're already there, then you don't need to go to Skegness because Skegness is basically a beach for people who live in the Midlands. Now, people in the Midlands, obviously, because it's called the Midlands, uh, it sort of indicates that there is not many, there's no beaches nearby because you're not by the sea. Um, and that is a problem if you, if it's a if it's a warm day and you want to go to the beach you can't and you know you're never going to get all the way down to the south so people go to this place called Skegness now I've never been to Skegness but I've heard it's a shithole <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who lives near the area but my friends have told me that the Skegness really like everyone it's Skegness is the beach basically, that everyone in the Midlands goes to if it's a warm day. Everyone goes to Skegness because it's not as far as going all the way down south. But yeah, I'm assuming that a a bunch of families have gone to Skegness today because there's been a slight break in the clouds. Because that's how how the UK goes. That's just how it works. Um, But yeah, so really good weather. After I finish recording this, I'm going to go on a walk, probably. Um, But yeah, guys, just me rambling today. So, yeah. Uh, the second thing, the 3DS is on the verge of shutdown. Now, guys, I don't know if it slipped your mind. It d- certainly did mine. But I just realised, I just looked up the date, the, the 3DS shuts down, the online play. April 8th. 
the 8th of April. April 8th, the 8th of April. So, that's in two days. It's the 6th today. As I'm recording this, it's the 6th. This might go out tomorrow. Actually, um, it probably will go out on... It's probably... The, by the time you're listening to this, it's the 7th. So, the 3DS for you guys, you're in the future right now. It closes tomorrow. So, get that last game of Mario Kart in, just in case. Um, Because uh, you're wondering why this is, why is this going out on the on the uh on the Sunday. Uh and that's because Judah's away for today, like I said, so he can't he does all the uh the editing and the uh publishing of the episode because I've got no knowledge of that. Um so it's going out a day late, which uh sorry about that. But it's it's not gonna be that good of an episode anyway, so you won't miss out on much. Um <clears throat> But yeah, the three D S is closing in two days for me. For you it's closing tomorrow. So do something. Go on your 3DS one last time before the 3DS shuts down. This Nintendo, uh, I don't see the point. I really don't see the point. You don't. You can just leave them up. Like it's not hurting anyone. But you know, Nintendo. It's what they do. I'm afraid that is what they do. Nintendo. Why? 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 But um, that's all I've got really in my talk about. Um, I'm sure Judah would have had something else that he could have added uh, had he been here. Um, but don't worry, you know, we're, everyone's busy, everyone's got their own lives to live. Um, and yeah, as you probably know, this is going to be like a, sh- a more shorter episode. Um, but yeah, guys, so um, I guess we let's just move on to the news of the week. Now, we've got some pretty good news stories this week. Um, actually, quite interesting, yeah. So um, we're going to get into story number one um, right now. Maybe um, I'll maybe talk about some other stuff, like if I remember, because I think... I'm remembering that I had something else to talk about as well, but it slipped my mind, so I'll come back to it later if I remember. Anyway, let's read story number one. So, story number one is Pokemon TV has officially ended on Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm pretty sure Judah, I'm pretty sure Judah covered this in one of his solo episodes like a few weeks back. He mentioned that... Um, Nintendo are shutting down Pokemon TV. Now, I have no knowledge of Pokemon TV. I've never used it. I didn't even know it was a thing. But, let's read. Before I read, I'm going to take a sip of my Fanta Fruit Twist that I got from the co-op. I have to add that bit in every time. <coughs> oh, it's fizzing up. That that could have ended badly, sorry. Right. There's 11 grams of sugar in this? Jeez Louise. Anyway, (laughs) let's read. In case you missed it back in January, the Pokemon company confirmed it would be discontinuing its Pokemon TV service on the 28th of March 2024. As we've now passed this date, the app and browser will no longer function across multiple devices including the Nintendo Switch, iOS, Android and Smart TVs. When you boot up the app on Switch, you should receive the following error code. Error code 21244609. This online service has ended. Thank you for your interest. Cerebi.net mentions how some people are still apparently able to access the app, but this likely won't be possible for much longer. This app and browser, which was made available on the Switch eShop in 2021, allowed fans to watch past episodes of Pokemon anime for free. If you want to keep watching the Pokemon anime, you can still catch it on platforms like YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and various other services. HD Today. Sorry, didn't, shouldn't mention that. Oh yeah, HD Today, um, it's not functioning anymore. You have to, like, if you want to watch stuff on HD Today now, which is a, it's an illegal website, naughty, for naughty boys, um, where you go and watch, uh, you know, anything, TV shows, movies, for absolutely free. <laughs> now, it is illegal, uh, but everyone does it. You can't, if you if you say you don't do it, you're lying to yourself, mate. Stop lying to yourself now. Anyway, um... But yeah, HD Today is actually, uh, if you type in the original link, hdtoday.tv, it doesn't work. You have to type in hdtoday.cc for some reason, and then it will load. And there's also hdtoday.la, hdtoday. There's, they've got a load of different website links. Maybe it's a backup in case, maybe the original TV one got shut down, I don't know. But anyway, back to Pokemon TV. Now, um, I've, I, like I said, I had no knowledge of Pokemon TV, um... But it's now 
kaput. You cannot access Pokemon TV. And it honestly seemed like a cool service. You, it, it says you get to watch past Pokemon anime for free. Now, I used to watch like the Pokemon, like the TV show, the cartoon, a while ago when I was a kid. And it was it was alright. I didn't really... It wasn't one of the major parts of my childhood. Um, but it was... Um, it was alright. I liked it. I liked it. That's as much as I can say. Uh, I prefer the games, but I, the TV show was alright. Some people probably love the TV show. I absolutely adore the TV show, but it just wasn't. It was wasn't like anything spectacular for me. But this allowed you, allowed you, to watch past Pokemon anime. Now I don't know how much of a tragedy this is because I don't know how many Pokemon. Episodes are on YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and other services. I don't know how many they actually have, because like, if there's if they haven't got every single episode, some of the episodes might just be lost for all time, which I think is far far worse than keeping. Because it only launched in 2021, and it 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 got shut down three years later. I mean, that's quite a short lifespan. 2021 was three years ago. That's wow. Okay, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it only um, it only released uh, in 2021. So I don't know why they've shut it down so quick. I mean, I guess three years is still three years, but you'd expect something to like still. You'd expect something to like have like at least five, six, not three. Three seems like just a waste. If you still want to watch Pokemon, guys, there's other services, like it says. There's YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video. Oh, wait, if it's on Netflix, that means it's, um... Yeah, but guys, you have to pay for Netflix. You don't have to pay for YouTube. But, you have to pay for Netflix. So... So, like, yeah, if so, if, if YouTube has all the episodes, great. But Netflix. But if it doesn't, then you have to turn to Netflix, which you have to pay for. I mean, I have a Netflix subscription, um, and it's pretty good. But stuff gets taken off it as well when you know Netflix can't be asked to renew the licenses. <laughs> um, so Netflix isn't really reliable if you want like certain TV shows. Because um, I remember I wanted to watch Prison Break once, um, and. Because I saw it previously on Netflix, I was like, "That sounds like a good show," so I left it a few a few days. I think it was literally a few days. It wasn't even that long. Came back and it had already been taken off, which means Netflix the license they did it and they had to watch it on HD today. But that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, this is a uh, you, if you got to watch them for free, then Netflix won't be good because if you were used to watching them for free on Pokemon TV, then Netflix you have to suddenly pay for and you most people don't want to pay for a subscription that they're only going to use to watch one series of things and then when you've watched all the Pokemon episodes what do you do you just cancel your Netflix subscription I think that's uh, I don't think that's a a very good substitute and then Prime Video obviously you have to pay for because that's Amazon Prime if you ain't got Prime then um, not the drink by the way and um, oh yeah um, I saw a, a picture on um, uh, in my Tesco's right I went into my Tesco's and um I can't believe how hyped up it used to be because I it used to be two pounds a bottle because everyone was like after it and they thought right we need to up the prices. And then Bro, and then I go there now to Tesco and it's one pound twenty five. It came down to one pound fifty and now it's at one pound twenty five. And then on when I got um when I looked online I saw something come up on TikTok and it said Right, it said um, there was a picture, and it had a bunch of prime in like the bargain basket, and it was twenty five p. Like they can't get rid of the stuff now. It used to sell out in five minutes, and now they can't sell one bottle. It's crazy. I don't know how KSI feels about that. Um, I don't know what the situation on KSI is at the minute. I think everyone's just forgotten. That he told people to harass Tommy Fury, but that's besides the point. But yeah, back to Pokemon TV. Um, I feel sorry for you if you if this was your main source of getting your you know Pokemon, you're watching your old Pokemon. But it's ended. You can't access it, and it's saying people can still access it. But they've also said that 
that won't last much longer. Apparently, it's probably an exploit that people have used, and it'll probably get you'll probably get patched soon or something. So, or maybe it's just a glitch. I don't know. But yeah, guys, no more Pokemon TV. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't have much to say because I didn't use it. But if you use Pokemon TV, I'm sorry. You can't now. Go to HD today. <laughs> Why do I always mention that in my solo episodes? I always man I always manage to slip HD today into the mix, but forget about HD today, okay? Um, I think it's time we move on to story number two. I'm gonna have another sip of my Fanta Fruit Twist that I got from the co-op. Okay. <sighs> right. Story number two. Nintendo reveals new details for Endless Ocean Luminous. Now, I literally found out about this this morning. This morning. I found out about this. Um, and it seems pretty good. I mean, I, it's got it, it's got a lot of competitors. Uh, the main one being Subnautica. And I think that's probably the only big one. Basically, Endless Ocean Luminous is... It literally looks like Subnautica. It looks like they've taken Subnautica and renamed it. Now, I'm not saying that to be an arse and saying, like, oh, they've just, you know, they've clearly put a lot of effort into it. However, I don't think they're going to make many sales. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, tell, I'll say about that after we read it, though. Um, let's read. Nintendo has today revealed the Japanese website for Endless Ocean Luminous, containing new details of what we can expect from the diving sim when it makes a splash. <laughs> I see what you did there. On Switch on 2nd of May. The Japanese website is shockingly in Japanese, though Tokyo Game Life has translated the newly revealed features so that we can see what's in store. Let's start with the biggie. You can take selfies with fish. <laughs> nice. Okay, that might not be the biggest feature, but it sure is cool. What's more, it looks like the fish and other underwater creatures will be appearing by the bucket load as the website reveals that there will be at least 578 different critters for you to discover, snap photos of, and swim alongside. You'll be able to choose what fish join you on your swimming journey, starting with a limited school, but building up to something much more impressive as your diver rank increases. The website also outlines diver customization, online challenges, and the ability to share codes so that your friends can explore the same sections of the ocean as you. Right. I um, This seems uh, different from Subnautica, then. Um, Subnautica's more simulation, uh, and, you know, more story-driven. This doesn't seem to be simulating... Sim Simulation, um, or like, it's not um, got like much story behind it. it. Doesn't sound like it sounds like um, one of those games where like you start as like a small thing and then it's like a tycoon. It's like a Roblox tycoon. You build, you start with like a small swimming of fish, and then a small school of fish. Sorry, and then you work your way up to like the bigger. But I'm sure it's not a tycoon. I'm sure it's much more complicated than that. Um, could you imagine if they just drag and drop to Tycoon from Roblox? Oh, Lord. But, yeah, um, I never knew about this. Uh, loads of people are excited for it, which I'm, I don't actually understand. I mean, I guess I kind of do understand, but, um, I've seen the screenshots, so they look quite nice. But again, it literally just looks like some Nautica, so... Um, I know I want to get I want to get Judah's opinion on this. I wish he was here, man, because I don't know what he would say about this. I I don't know if he'd be up in the air about it on the fence. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what to think. Um, I guess if you're a fan of, I mean, if you already got Subnautica, there might be something to gain by getting this as well because it seems different from Subnautica. Um, but I I actually don't know. I can't say for sure. Um, it says you can right. So the first feature is you take um, you can take pictures. You can take selfies with the with the fish. Really good feature. I'm joking. Um. Um. Yeah. I guess like that might go into some sort of gallery that you can see like all your all your fish. Um, again, guys, I don't really understand if this is going to have like a story mode sort of thing, or if it's just going to be like a. You start as this, you build up, you build up, you build up. Like, um, it's exploration. It says you can share code so that friends can explore the same, the same oceans as you. So it's clearly exploration. But like, like Elijah said, he he's, he used an analogy. Like, um, say let's say Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is on the Nintendo Switch, 
And uh, DreamWorks Kart Racing decided to, you know, they decided to DreamWorks decided to make that game and put it on the Nintendo Switch. Um, but you're not going to get any sales. And Elijah used the um, analogy that um, you know you've got the uh, the cafe Nero, you've got the Starbucks, you've got the Costa, and then you're going to put your little coffee shop in the middle of all of them and expect to get customers. It's not going to happen. People are going to obviously choose uh, the uh, the you know. You know the, the 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 more popular ones. So um, an, an analogy that fits this as well is it's a we'll say it's a small fish in a big pond. Is that an, is that a saying? I think I heard something along them lines. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know if they'll make many sales, guys, um, with this game if Subnautica is already on it, and they've got Subnautica below zero as well. So they've really got a lot of competition with this. But hey, I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway. Story number three. Before we move on to story number three, I'm taking a sip of my Fanta Fruit Twist. You guessed it, that I got from the co-op. Still tastes good. Anyway, story number three. Nintendo Live 2024 Tokyo Threat Suspect Arrested. Now, me and Judah covered this a while ago. I think it was near the beginning of the year. Where, um... Tokyo... Um, Tokyo Live, Nintendo Live, sorry, 2024, set to be in Tokyo, um, was cancelled because someone threatened to, I think, sneak a bomb in or something? Someone threatened to do something like like that. And I'm guessing this is, the th this is referring to that. So let's read. According to the Japanese daily newspaper Kyoto Shinbun, police have arrested a suspect tied to the threats that led Nintendo Live to 2024 Tokyo's cancellation. The weekend-long event was set to take place this January and would hold Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 3 competitions alongside the usual showcase of Nintendo games and presentations. So yeah, the beginning of the year. However, in December 2023, it was announced that the first Nintendo Live of 2024 would not be taking place, with the company citing safety concerns for both its staff and attendees after receiving numerous threats. The source of these threats appear to have been found, as police of today arrested a man in his early 20s under the accusation of obstructing the company's business. The suspect motives are still unclear at the time of this writing. While the Nintendo Live Tokyo event remained cancelled, both the Splatoon and Mario Kart Championships were rescheduled for this month. The events will now take place on the 13th and 14th of April, retrospectively, and will be live-streamed by Nintendo. Yeah. So that's good. I mean, you can still do your, your tournaments. That's that's a severe delay, though. Oh, so, um, I think, yeah. The threat came through last December. So it must have been right at the end of 2023 that we talked about this. It seems way... It seems like we did that way later. I don't know why. It seems like we did it January, February time, that story. But I guess not. We must have did it before Christmas. Um, before the Christmas special. Oh, my gosh. The Christmas special. What an absolute train wreck. I mean, it was it was good. It was a good... <laughs> it was a good episode, right? But the problem is... Um, gosh... Everyone was off their heads. Like, I got off me head. Because I had this thing called Advocat, which you have at Christmas time. It's like a creamy, like, thing that you mix with lemonade. And it's 17% alcohol. Which explains a lot. But, yeah, I was off... By the end of the episode, I was off me head. And, um, yeah, I was 16 then, not 17. So that probably had an impact. Like, but, oof, while I was drinking the alcohol, my body was just like, What the fuck is this? What's going on? Yeah, or like like do you, does anyone else as well? Um, but oh, before I say that, I'll just say yeah, the Christmas special was good. Um, but it was just I don't know the the half of it got cut off by accident. We recorded for two and a half hours, almost three, I think it was. I think it might have been two hours forty five, and like half of it got cut off because OBS was just decided it was having a bad day, which I can relate to. I mean, OBS is does not like me in the slightest. Um, but, yeah, um, back to, um, this, right? Yeah, so, back to this. Um, they've arrested a suspect. A suspect. Now, does that mean it's the right guy? That's what I'm thinking about this. Have they gotten the right person? That's what I'm worried about. If it is, then... Because it, it says the source of these threats appear to have been found. But is it the right guy? Now, if it's the right guy, 
Brilliant. We have, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. But if it's not, then that's not good, because that that's going to reflect really bad on Nintendo if they caught the wrong one. Um, it's not like it hasn't said whether or not they did catch the right guy yet. Like they they didn't give me much in. They've not given us any guidance in this article like, to say whether or not they actually caught the right guy. I guess it's still ongoing. I guess they're still um, you know just sorting it out behind the scenes. But, um, yeah, so, um, that, that's, uh, if they caught the right guy, that's good, if not, again, not many people are going to like Nintendo, people don't already like them for all the stuff they've done, the higher-ups, not like Miyamoto, they're not those people, but the higher-ups, the suit and tie kind of guys, the mafia, basically, they, they pretty much are the mafia, but, um, yeah, so, that's the end of that story, um, tell us what you think of those anyway um i guess this is where the ad break's going to be uh, if we if we do an ad break but yeah let's do uh let's do an ad break real quick sorry to interrupt the episode i'm rowan fern the co-host of this podcast if you're a regular listener to our podcast you would know that me and judah love to hear from our community every single week we read out your comments and questions on the podcast one viewer wrote it in telling us how they found their wife directly through the popular 3ds game pokemon x Bloody hell, you don't hear that every day. You can become that viewer by writing into our podcast email, jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. That is jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. I know all of you hate ads, so on with the show. And we are back from the ad. Well, I am back from the ad. And if there was an ad, it was it was brilliant. It was nice. It was amazing. Um, if there was one. If there wasn't one, just forget about it. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be one yet because this podcast at the moment is all over the place. But anyway, um, no announcements, no question of the week. Now, why is there no question of the week? Why is there no question of the week? Well, I'll tell you why there's no question of the week. Um, first off, I'll apologise by saying that, yeah, there's no question today. However, um, the reason why is because um, I... Um, don't know the password to our email, so Judah, like when normally how the, how it goes is, I do you know I find the news stories and then he gets a question from our inbox, but as of recording this, I don't know the the password and um, Judah's not replying to my text, which means he's, um, you know, like spending time with his friends, which that's fair, right? Like that's fair. Um, so I can't actually add a question in yet, so I'm just recording this now. Um, if there, if we want a question, we might have to record another segment separate for the question, and then just splice them together. But I doubt that's going to happen. So for this, for this episode, if you're hearing this, that means there's no question of the week. If you were just here to, you know, look at the question of the week, please leave. There's, there's not going to be any question. Actually, no, don't leave. Listen to the rest. Support us. Don't leave. Listen to the rest of our episode to support us. Please do. But yeah. Anyway, um, I thought in this section instead we can talk about um, what's the, the status of JR's gaming at the minute. The, the state of JR's gaming at the minute. Like, not just the podcast, all of us. Now, first we'll start off with the podcast. Right now, it's a, a very weird stage where one week there's a solo episode because we have different schedules or someone's ill, something like that, right? Um, yeah. The, um, and then... Sometimes it's a normal episode, but we'll be back to the norm soon, right? Um, we were planning to add a, another segment to the podcast where we talk about game lore. However, that's not actually come into place yet, I don't think. I think Judah might have done it on his solo episode once, and then we just didn't do it again. So we're going to try and Im- implement that, I'm guessing. However, that I can't say much about that yet either. Um, also got told a secret yesterday by Judah. I'm not going to say it yet because I don't know if I'm allowed to, but let's just say it's a very, very good thing for us <laughs> and for you guys. It will spruce up the uh, the podcast a bit, um, but I, can't, I don't know if I can say that yet. So I'm going to keep quiet about it until further notice. Gosh, that sounds so professional. Um, the uh, Our old YouTube channel, um, and I'm not talking about the Giles Gaming Podcast YouTube channel, that's still, we still upload that all the episodes there, so if you're listening on Spotify and you want the video versions, YouTube's the place to go for that. Uh, Our original OG YouTube channel that we made ages ago, two years, about now, yeah, two years, um, 
yeah, established 2022, it says it in the logo. Um, it's dead. <laughs> That's the nicest way of putting it. It's inactive at the minute. Um, if you guys didn't know that we didn't, you know, for any new listeners, because I know we get new listeners quite a lot, uh, we um, have, this isn't actually our first YouTube channel, the JLS Gaming Podcast. We originally had a, a YouTube channel just just called JLS Gaming, where we uploaded uh, gaming videos um, back in 2022. The first gaming video we made was Mario Kart PC, which is basically a PC version of Mario Kart. Me and him raced for, like, you know, did some races on it. Editing was amazing in that. Um, only problem I've got with it, though, don't you? Um, my voice sounds lit. I, I am a baby in that video. I don't know how in two years. Like, oh gosh. And it, like I said, Elijah <laughs> messaged me on Discord, and he was like, "Puberty hit you like a truck," and it did. It did. And my voice is still getting deeper, honestly. But yeah. So if you guys haven't seen that very first gaming video, go watch it, but uh, cover your ears. <laughs> and uh, my mic quality is terrible as well. Um, it's really, I mean, it, is, it, it, it was a time. It was an era. It was a different era. I was 15. Um, I'm now 17. Um, but, yeah, honestly, yeah. Um, so that's, I mean, we might, and, and for the future of that channel, what I was going to say is, uh, we might do some, like, uh, more gaming videos. Um, but it's it's quite hard to manage two channels at the same time. So I don't know when the next video will be here. Be here, here be. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's the state of those two channels. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, that's it. <laughs> that's the end. 31 minutes in. Again, super, super, super sorry about this. The the news stories were really good, I think. They were good. They were um, actually pretty good, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, 3DS shutting down tomorrow, as of, if you're listening to this. So, I'm, and I'm really sorry about no question. Um, but guys, still send in questions. We will answer them. It's just that I could not get the password this week for the inbox. So I'm very, very sorry about that. Again, you, if if we if I have to record another segment with a question, um, you might not even be hearing this. But if you are hearing this, I apologise. And that is the end of today's episode. Um, I knew it was going to be shorter. Uh, but anyway, the weather is nice. I'm going to go outside now and run through fields. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, guys. That's the end for today. Apologies. Uh, it'll be back to normal next week, hopefully. Hopefully one of us isn't... Hopefully Elijah can come on if one of us is gone, though. So it will not be a solo episode next week. I can say that for sure. Definitely. I say that and it might be still. But I don't know, guys. Let's hope it's not. Because we don't want too many solo episodes. Anyway. Um... Please send in your questions and comments to jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. Please subscribe or follow us on whatever platform you're listening from and leave us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts as this will help us out greatly and get the podcast around. Our socials, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, website and Discord will all be in the description. Go clicking away, clickety-clack-clack. Until then, it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from only me. And I'm going to take one last sip of my Fanta Fruit Twist that I got from the co-op. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> mm.